Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Media Tip. Few days back, I have posted a question on Facebook. The question was, one month old baby comes to you for excessive crying. Her mother told that she was well and accepting feed, passing urine and stool till two weeks of age. Uh, the baby cry starts usually in late afternoon and in evening. Duration of crying was usually two to three hours. Rest of all, the baby was normal. Episode of crying is three to four days in a week. So what is diagnosis and treatment? So from the history and uh, uh, recommended room criteria for, this is a case of infantile colic. So infantile colic usually begins by two to three weeks of age and peak by six weeks and usually resolved by three months of age. There is no sex predisposition, though male and female are equally affected. Five, generally five etiological theory has been given and from, uh, on this basis treatment are also given. So first theory, we have cow milk or soy protein allergy or intolerance. There is evidence of immature uh, intrinsic nervous system, that is gastrointestinal system immature central nervous system, difficult infant temperament, and parent in fact interaction problem. <coughs> so the what are the classical presentation? If an over anxious parent comes with the inconsolable infant, parent usually explain that the colicky cry is different from other cry. And these cry seems to be more urgent, piercing, and making them feel that the baby is in pain. These cry are usually associated with hypertonia, facial flushing, withdrawal of leg towards abdomen and flatulence. The cry usually starts and abrupt, stops abruptly. These is, uh, are the typical presentation of uh, infantile colic. So the diagnosis is uh, entirely clinical and based on history. Usually no investigation are required. So after diagnosis of colic, you have regularly, you have to follow up the child regularly. So what we have treatment option. So for main first line therapy, we have behavioral med, uh, modification because it has no side effect and it is cost effective. Next, we have parental counseling. Parental counseling uh, boost, build confidence, and encourage them to continue breastfeeding and teach them how to calm infant. So we have five techniques for this. First, we have swaddling. Second, we have side or stomach sound, swinging of baby with tiny ziggly movement, suckling, the baby or baby to suckle on breast or clean pacifier. Other technique includes white noise, minimum handling and simulating car ride. These are the uh, actually first line of treatment, behavioral modification and parental counseling. After that, you have to modify diet. So what are the dietary modifications we, uh, we can uh, do? So first of all, lactase supplementation. So there are numerous studies regarding lactase supplementation in infantile uh, colic, but there is no strong evidence uh, that help in formulating guidelines. So next we have uh, uh, probiotic supplementation. So they are uh, uh, the most common what probiotic we use, uh, lactobacillus ruteri. And there are numerous studies uh, have been done, uh, but uh, there is no clear cut role, uh, both in prevention and treatment. Other strain like lactobacillus and bifidobacter have been also used, but scientific evidence is limited. Next, we have hydrolyzed infant formula. So sometimes cow milk protein allergy also manifest as colicky pain. So in that condition, you have to modify the diet. If the baby is exclusively breastfed, 
then you have to restrict maternal diet you have to remove all the milk product from the maternal diet if uh, baby is on mixed feed then there is no home restriction of maternal diet is required baby should continue breastfeed and if a baby is on formula feed so in that condition you have to use extensively hydrolyzed formula and soy based formula are not recommended in infant less than 6 months of age uh, next we have for fermented formula with oligosaccharide few studies supports that there is decreased colic in baby who are fed with fermented formula along with oligosaccharides as compared to group uh, which we are fed either fermented milk or oligosaccharides alone so uh, more uh, study should be required for formulating guidelines so now next we have pharmacological intervention what we drug we can give so there are the few drugs that are commonly used so first drug we have semitecon but uh, it has no role in decreasing symptom of colic next drug we have herbal modification although it decreases the symptom of colic but has numerous side effect next drug we have dicyclamine and cimetropium uh, actually these are based uh, due to immature net, uh, enteric nervous system which lead to spasm in intestine uh, these two drug are actually muscle relaxant and relieves pain so use of dicyclamine is not recommended because of its side effect it causes breathing difficulty and it should not be used in less than 6 month of age other drug like cimetrovim dicyclamine and sucrose have low evidence quality evidence for using colic so there is a no clear cut guidelines so there is no analgesic treatment for colic use of cryopotan is also common in our country most common belief is that it help in digestion and decrease abdomen pain as for who recommendation it should not be uh, given to any child uh, because who recommend that no prelactal feed should be given to baby before 6 month uh, if uh, even if you suspect uh, grd so use of proton pump inhibitor is not recommended if you strongly suspect grd then before starting a medication you should properly investigate the child so these are uh, possible options for infantile colic and uh, people are using either drugs or even some uh, calm technique and people are getting benefit hope you enjoyed this video kindly like subscribe and follow my channel thanks thanks for watching